Oh yes, here it is. This is it. This is a, a very, very big passion project, the lock hook. So I want to talk you through it because it looks radical to the eye, but there are really important intrinsic reasons why it is the shape it is and why for, for us at OMC, we're absolutely so proud of it because it's an innovation in hook design but functionally it does a really amazing job. And this is what it is now. So the first point is it has a very, very slight beak on it, okay? So you get that beak, it moves it in the direction and then it hits this very acute angle and sits in position. In the past, some of you might say, oh, that's a bent hook. It isn't. Having a bend in it does not make it a bent hook, okay? But this has this acute corner and what, the idea and what it does in practice is it follows that beak point, gets to this corner and locks in position. It's a fabulous pattern to use on a spinner rig. You will see from the hook holds, we've had our team guys out there using it. It's the only hook I have ever tested where I haven't lost a single fish in field testing. And you're going well into 50 odd fish landed with incredible, incredible hook holds. And it is all about how quickly it gets to this corner and stays in position. And obviously you then have the natural aggression, if you like, of the flipping and turning from the bend, okay? Now the hook is actually available in barbed and barbless. It's our first pattern where you have a barbless version available. The barbed is available in size two, four, six, and eight. And the barbless is available in four, six, and eight. Spinner rigs, absolutely incredible. A basic knotless knot, absolutely incredible. And then other rigs to think about using it with that it's performed brilliantly with, the Slip D and the German rig. So they're all very popular in Vogue rigs. It also works on a D rig. Um, one of the rigs I wouldn't recommend it with because I don't like the way it sits on the angle is if you like the multi rig, which keeps the the filament of the coated braid quite stiff because that actually hangs the hook over too far. And the final point, which was a part of the very early design of it, was actually it almost being slightly opened out in the point, okay? And, and I suppose now it's not as exaggerated because you have the beak, the slight beak to sort of compensate for that angle. So not only is it very aggressive and quick at pricking fish, and you'll see on the front cover, of the magic twig, the hook that is in the fish's mouth is actually the lock hook. And that fish was so nailed, a combination of the magic twig and a brilliant hook. And that is what we always say, get a brilliant hook and rig, combine it with a fantastic lead system, and you are fishing with the most effective tactics available. The lock hook available now.